Hey, welcome to Sam Goffin Guitar. So anyone who's seen any of the other recent videos might have noticed that I've been on a bit of a tube screamer, um, should we say bender, <laughs> looking at lots of different tube screamers. Um, so if you haven't seen the other video, I've got one where I'm basically comparing some of the best 808 versions of the tube screamer out there. So check that one out here, or is it here? Somewhere. Um, then I also checked out the uh, mini tube screamer basically versus the bigger standard and uh, yeah that was quite an interesting video as well so again check that one out that's worth watching um, but I thought it might be worth looking at some of the more kind of budget friendly pedals so I've got the Behringer and the Tone City two of the really really common uh, kind of more budget friendly pedals that you're going to find out there. The Behringer is around £25 new and the Tone City around £40, £45 new compared to the Tube Screamer which is you know 100 plus generally. So yeah quite a big difference particularly between these two. So yeah let's check out some of the sounds and have some fun with these. <laughs> That's just Yamp, that's the old Two Rock Studio Pro 35. Love it, love it, love it. Music Man uh, Cutlass, so obviously Strat style guitar. Okay, everything at zero. It's quite hard to see where the control knobs are on the uh, Tone City, but there we go. Everything at zero. Let's have a little look at them. I'm going to start with the Tube Screamer actually, the proper Ibanez. <laughs> Go to the Behringer. To the Tone City, of course. Let's start messing with these knobbies a bit, shall we? So, one interesting thing about the Tone City one is taking a slightly different approach to it. So normally, obviously, we've just got kind of a drive, gain, whatever it's called, a level or volume, and of course, a tone knob. So usually only the three standard. On the Tone City, you'll notice that there are four. So instead of just of having one tone control, we've actually got a bass and a treble, or it calls it a low and a high, okay? That's the low there and that's the high there so we'll have a little mess around with those when we look at the tone controls because it gives um, slightly different results obviously which is quite interesting okay let's see uh, how much drive each pedal has got and see what happens with that right just going to remind us what a uh, halfway looks like and then we'll just whack it right up Behringer. 
Tong City. So Tung City, I think, has more drive on tap there. It's also a little harsher sounding, a little bit more trebly. Let's, Let's have, have a look at the volume, volume you want that those tubes. tubes. Will it, will it push, push the tubes, the tubes nicely, nicely like, like it, it should? should. Let's have a look at the tone control, as we said, the tone has got a slightly different approach to the tone control, so it could be quite important to compare those. So lows and highs, to me it sounds a bit harsh, right? So... Quite nice enough to tame those highs. Thank 
Okay, okay. Let's, Let's check, check out, out what, what the tone, tone is, is like, like on, on the vintage, vintage tube tube overdrive, overdrive from Berenger. 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 Plenty of, of variation there in, in the tube, tube overdrive. Let's, let's just check, check it against, against the, original. the original. So let's, so let's go, go with the tone. tone. Let's just go right, right up on that. that. See, that's See, the that's thing the original gets, gets pretty, pretty bright, bright as well, as well right? right? Let's just, just do that do again. again. Boost those high side a bit. There you go. That, that will do take, take out, out of that, that what you, you will. will. Um, um, I think I it think certainly shows, shows that, that budget, budget pedals, pedals they're, they're still, still pretty, pretty good. good. Don't, don't write them off because, because they're, they're cheap. cheap. They, they do, do a good, good job. job. The Behringer, the Behringer, I think, I think is, is not bad, bad at all. I mean, for the price, price it's actually really good. The Tone City, again, not bad at all. It's a little harsh for me. I'd have those highs tamed all the time, but. Pretty, pretty cool, cool, pretty cool, cool. And, and I love, love the form, the form fact fact on it. I love the fact that it's a tiny, tiny little pedal, pedal fits on your, your little board, board. Really, really nice, nice little space, space saver. saver. If you can, if you afford, can afford it, it get, this, get one. this one. If you're tight on budget, budget, or you're a beginner, or you're a beginner get, this get this one. It's 90 percent there, there anyway, anyway. So, so you know, what's not to like about that? There we go. Go. All right, all right. Have fun. Please like and subscribe, of course, as ever. And I will see you soon.